What's up? I'm Vin, and I'm solving this system of equations. So we have 1 over a squared plus 1 over b squared equals 23. And then we have a times b equals 20. And we have to use these two equations to find the value of a plus b squared. So for a question like this, what I recommend is you just start doing algebra and wait for an idea to pop up. So here, my first instinct is to find common denominators. So I would multiply the top and bottom of the first fraction by b squared. And for the second fraction over here, I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator by a squared. Because then we would have matching denominators of a squared, b squared. So we would have b squared times 1 is b squared. And we're over a squared, b squared. And then I could say plus a squared times 1 is a squared. And we're over a squared times b squared. I prefer to write the denominator in alphabetical order because in a moment we're going to probably make a substitution involving a b equals 20 and that's going to open up the question more. And this is all equal to 23. So now from here we can combine these fractions. I could say b squared plus a squared but I could also flip the order because addition is commutative. So I could say a squared plus b squared over a squared b squared. Okay, so I just combine these fractions by adding their numerators. And then we have the denominator staying the same. So now on the right side, we have equals 23. And I'm going to call this 23 over 1. Because now at this step, we could cross multiply. And my idea from this part on is noticing the a squared plus b squared. I think of a squared plus b squared in this form here when the a plus b is in parentheses compared to this. And I could see the connection now. So if we were to expand a plus b squared, this would give us, we would have, this is equal to a squared, plus there would be a b squared at the end, but there's also going to be a middle piece. We'd have a times b plus a times b is 2ab. Okay, so this is the piece that we're going to have to be on the lookout for in a moment. So now, once again, we cross multiply. We're going to have a squared plus b squared equals, and then we have 23 times a squared b squared. But notice, in order for me to be able to factor this or write this in the form of a plus b in parentheses squared, I need to have this middle piece here of 2ab. That has to be there. So I'm going to add that to both sides. I'm going to say plus 2ab on both sides. So this is what I'm going to add. And now we would have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to 23 and we have a squared b squared and then we have plus 2ab so now I could factor this I'm gonna write the left side as a plus b in parentheses squared and this is what we actually want to find so we would have 23 times and instead of a squared b squared I'm gonna call this a b in parentheses squared and then we have plus 2ab so now we could make substitutions here we could finally use that second equation here, the AB equals 20. And we could say that A plus B in parentheses squared is equal to 23 times A times B is 20. So we could replace AB with 20 and we're squaring it and we have plus two times AB is 20. So now we could just simplify. We have A plus B in parentheses squared equals and 20 times 20 is 400. So if we do 23 times 400 well we could just do 23 times 4 and then for 23 times 400 just add two zeros at the end and 23 times 4 we have 12 carry the 1 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9 so this would work out to 9200 okay because when i do times 400 i would just put two zeros here and two zeros here and then we have plus 2 times 20 is 40. so now we could write our final answer a plus b squared is equal to, we have 9,240.